example, uh, what I have here is negative 1 7 minus 3 7 And um, basically, when adding and subtracting fractions, Diamond, could you grab my stapler and just put it on your desk so we don't like, forget it? Um, when subtracting fractions, the main important thing that you guys want to have is to make sure, Max, that we have common denominators. So you can see in this case, I have common denominators of 7, right? Which is good. So when adding and subtracting, the basic idea of what we want to do is we're just going to apply our operations to the numerator, and our denominator is going to remain the same. Now, when dealing with negatives and positives, we're going to want to, even though it doesn't matter where the negative sign is appropriated for a fraction, for instance, negative 4 halves is equal to negative 4 over 2, which is equal to 4 over negative 2, which is all equal to negative 2. So it doesn't really matter where I put the negative sign. All right, But for our operations for adding and subtracting, it's going to be helpful to attribute the, put the negative sign in the numerator, because that's where we're going to be applying our operations. So basically, again, forget about the fraction part. Just think of a negative number minus 3. right? Because we know now that we have denominators, or the denominators are the same, we're just going to write whatever our numerator is over um, 7. So think about if you owe a dollar and you borrow three more dollars, therefore you now owe $4. So the answer is negative 4 sevenths. Okay? Um, you could also rewrite this as an addition problem. Negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Okay?